What's up everyone? Tom the PT Gamer Guy here coming at you with a little bit different uh, video. Doing a tutorial on pulling the plug on Final Fantasy XI on the private server Eden. I was kind of wanting to do a tutorial video and told someone I would do a video on this so here it is. You don't get to see my pretty face because my camera's not working and I'm not going to go back to my old janky camera because all you guys do will make fun of it. So no view of my pretty face but we'll get right into this video. All right, so this ENM pulling the plug, you have to complete uh, Promivazel first. Then you get a key item from an NPC in Relude Gardens. Uh, you can do it once every so many days. I just do it once a week. Once you get that key item, you can come to this tower here. This is the tower where you enter to go into uh, Promivazel. It's so a pretty straightforward. I do this on Samurai Sub Thief just for flea, as you will see as we get into this a little bit. Um, so you just zone in here, and uh, this is kind of a long-ass run, so we are going to speed this up a little bit. Alright, so this is just a run through. Uh, to get to Promivazel, where you got to warp to and all that good stuff, so I'm going to zoom through all this pretty quick. It's 50 caps, so you can kind of see my gears pretty basic. I don't have anything too crazy. Uh, the only requirement as a samurai if you're going to use polearm is you have to have two merits to get access to pentathrust. My gear is pretty basic. You don't really need to go crazy. And then once you get to here, you're going to pick warp to ponderer. It's the last floor of Promivazel. I will slow this back up to regular speed. So from here, this is where Fleet comes in handy. If you have a Hermes Quencher, that's also a very handy. Um, I usually try to get as far as I can without getting aggro. Sometimes I've zoned into the zone and had aggro upon zoning in, and then I've been able to run through this without getting aggro at all. So you can do it a couple different ways. Since I've used Flea for this, I've kind of gotten pretty careless. Like here, I got aggro pretty dang quick. I was like, well, screw it. Just punch on third eye, punch Flea, and you're gone. Like no time at all to get there. I don't know how much Hermes quenchers are, but they're probably worth the cost to make this run super easy. Initially, when I tried this, I tried it as sub ninja and was able to get through okay with shadows and third eye, but I did die a couple times in, in learning how to make this run. But that's all there is to it, right there. That's it. We're there. Uh, they just patched the TP thing. You used to be able to meditate out here, get your TP, wait on meditate, and then go in. Uh, you can't do that anymore. So now you just go right in. So we're just going to go straight in um, and meditate. You don't have to wait. So we pick pulling the plug. And away we go. The longest part about all this is just getting here. That's pretty much it. The longest part is just getting here. Once you're here, you're pretty much golden. I know other jobs can do this. Samurai, in my opinion, does this just super easy, and I happen to have Samurai leveled, so there you go. So we're going to run here, meditate, and we're going to wait. Um, but instead of waiting, we'll pause the video and we'll get back to you. All right, we've waited. Meditate is back up in 10 seconds. Hit Hasso. So once you attack this thing, memory receptacle is the only thing there. You hit that guy, three other are going to pop. You'll see these here in a second. Once I hit him, boom, three others pop. He does a draw on effect. So that blue one, teal, and green. So blue will take away his ranged immunity. Green will take away his magic immunity. And teal, or aqua, whatever you want to call this, will take away his melee immunity. So right now you can't damage the main one in the center. That's why I have to kill to win this. But as you can see, I have TP and I'm hitting this thing. If I Penta Thruster right now, it will not kill it. Um, but then they'll start using Empty Seed and the guy in the middle will start using Drawing and it gets kind of sloppy. So I just melee it till it gets under 50%. Once it's under 50%, then I'll hit Segan, Third Eye, Penta Thrust. He dies. He'll pop a mob. There he is. Totally ignore this dude. Run into the middle. I will two hour. And then boom, I got knocked back. Whee! That was a big knockback too. 
third eye is down, so we're kind of like, well, we need to spam this. Hit meditate just in case, but we're just pentathrust spam till we win. I think I get knocked back again, don't I? Yep, right here. Boop. All it takes is one more melee hit. Boom. Done. That's it. Win. Check that guy. Get your winnings. In this one, I got a whole lot of junk. But I also got 3,000 limit points. So we skip. We're out. We're done. We won. 3,000 limit points. Got a bunch of junk. Um, impe impetuous image, I think, is what you're wanting for Torador's ring. I ended up getting the leather and super cermet chunk, which is kind of worthless, but that's what I got, and that is pulling the plug, the E&M. Piece of cake, right? Good luck on your runs, everybody. Get those rings.